Today's broadcast is brought to you by viewers like you. Become a member today and unlock exclusive content at patreon.com slash northstarradio. Hassan Piker, <laughs> that rich Hollywood socialist who just can't seem to stay out of trouble. The radical left seems to be getting more depraved every day. Now, the latest display, the Young Turks contributor, Hassan Piker, going on this vulgar rant, mocking wounded war vet, Congressman Dan Crenshaw. He's found himself once again in some very hot water. And I'm not talking about a bath, because that guy stinks. You've been clip chimped and people are uh, acting like you said streaming is harder than other jobs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am going to video game myself. So who is Hassan Piker? And does he actually live by the socialist lifestyle he preaches on a daily basis to thousands of blue haired tankies? Hassan Piker grew up in Turkey to a wealthy and educated family. To be fair, they were wealthy by Turkey standards, but they were still privileged nonetheless. Does that sound very socialist to you? He was reportedly picked on in his adolescence for his heavy weight and lack of exercise. We're both former fat kids. Yeah, well, I knew I'm that current, about him. Current fat kid. No, but you're not fat. Cur current fat kid, but thank you. So in that regard, he was very socialist, participating in the laziness that socialism encourages. Hassan Piker is an anchor baby, a phenomenon in which parents will give birth to their child in the United States in order to grant them birthright citizenship. Wait, it says you were born in New Jersey? That's slander. No, that's real. You were born in New Jersey? No, that is real. <laughs> this caused an obsession in the mind of young Hassan Piker, an obsession with the heart and engine of Western civilization and the capitalist world entirely, the United States of America. How is it that you're very, like, your English is perfect? American TV. Mm -hmm. Like, I. I read English books when I was growing up. I was like, I was a weeb for America, okay? I was an America boo. Like, that's part of the reason why it was so easy for me to assimilate to the culture here uh, in the past 10 years that I've been here, 11 years that I've been here now, because I was just always obsessed with American culture. I watched all the watched as many TV shows as I possibly could in Turkey. After studying both at University of Miami and then Rutgers University because he was partying too much while in Miami, Hassan Piker stayed in the United States and found a job thanks to nepotism. His uncle, Cenk Uygur, one of the founding members of the Young Turks, brought Hassan on to work in the network's ad sales, and after a short while became producer and host of his own show, The Breakdown. Hi, Tucker Carlson's white pilling your dads every night. Happy Monday! Kanye West is having an extended normal one. Socialism makes me sad. Alexa, play Venezuela! Hassan Piker soon garnered a fan base of his own, who coined the infamous nickname Woke Bay. Was that was that good, guys? Okay. Not enough hashtag use. Hashtag abs, hashtag model, hashtag woke bay. Hassan, you'll never really be woke bay until you go vegan. Hassan yeah. Piker, yeah. they're calling him woke bay on the internet. Really? Like he's, cause all the girls think he's gorgeous, but he's also like super political. With his newfound fame, he began Twitch streaming to a small but ever growing audience. He enjoyed Twitch streaming because to him it meant freedom, especially in comparison to the small but mighty corporate media production he was a part of at the Young Turks. It all changed, however, on the ever fateful day, August 21st, 2019. <laughs> So insane. America deserved 9-11, dude. I'm saying it. We're there to partner with them. To like, we, we f totally brought it on ourselves, dude. Holy sh**. We did. We f did. In a video game, whatever, hypothetically, politically. We f did, man. We did. Holy sh**. Look at the way that this dip is running his mouth, justifying genocide right now. Like, how, how is this, how is anything I'm saying controversial? Like, we f Fund the people who did 9-11 still to this day. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave soldier, f***ed his eye hole with their d Isn't that how he lost his dumbass eye? Because he got his f***ing eye hole And, and Hassan, I know you've, you've been a, a bit in the news recently as well. I want to address real quickly. You, you made 
um, some comments that got a lot of pickup, talking about 9-11, uh, saying that Americans deserved 9-11. This was something you said on a Twitch stream that was very long, had a lot of other stuff in it. You deleted it and said that that was probably in a, not the best way of saying that. You also made a comment about Dan Crenshaw, the uh, Republican congressman who uh, had an eye injury in war. So uh, you said America deserved 9-11. Did you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Really? This is the guy you're fighting for? This is the guy who's supposedly anti-violence? Anti-war? Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. From this point onward, not only did Hassan Piker receive immense amount of media coverage and death threats, but his co-workers were also the recipients of several threats of harm. And for that reason, thanks to his large following on Twitch, Hassan Piker was able to leave the Young Turks and pursue a full-time career in Twitch streaming. Yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off of Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push. No! And more, like, you should be able to choose what you want. No! Oh! Are you fucking joking? No! Dude, he's so good! He's so fucking good! Oh! Trapo season? Oh, these are from Reconstruct. They're like real tree. De they're they're real tree camo pants that have uh, a bunch of crazy. Oh, what the f is my head in this, dude? Why, why did you do that? After working at the Young Turks and being known as Woke Bay by his own audience, it's self-explanatory that his politics lean quite heavily to the left, and he doesn't try to hide it. Everywhere Marxism has been tried, it has left death and destruction in its so way. So right, Black unlike capitalism, which is no deaths. Uh, never forget, if famine, food shortages uh, happen under a communist organization, that is because of communism's failure. But of course, if people, like the 14 million people that die every year as a consequence of famine, when capitalism has created a surplus of food, an abundance of food, those people are dying because they don't have their bootstraps, okay? That's it. Remember, Communism, responsible for any death and all deaths. Capitalism, responsible for no deaths. I've made the greatest argument of all time. There you go. You can't deny it. That's the best argument, dude. But Hassan wasn't always upfront about his political leanings, even going as far as to purposefully leave out terms like socialism or communism when talking about his politics. Do you use the word liberal? I'm not even sure how to describe it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even consider... I don't, I don't consider myself a liberal, but in the American political lexicon, I guess, like, I'm super liberal. That's what they, uh, that's what Americans think uh, liberalism is. Like, the more, the more left you are, the more liberal you are, even though there is a genuine distinction between the leftist and the liberal. But, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm uh, progressive, I guess. That's yeah, the catch-all term. I like so, progressive. Yeah. Notice how I'm f***ing hiding. Oh, my God. God, I should have just kept it going, man. I should have just kept... Saying to everybody, oh, I'm just a fucking, I don't know. I don't know what I am. Don't worry about it. Just listen to what I'm saying. Oh, God. It's just like immediately, immediately. First of all, it is not a mark of shame to be a socialist, okay? I do not believe that. No, I wasn't shy about it. I just knew that, like, that automatically closes so many f doors for people because of the infinite amount of Red Scare propaganda. People are positioned against it like they still have an existing socialism out there that they hate so why would he hide this some might argue that he was doing so in order to garner a larger fan base and audience because terms like socialism may be off-putting to someone who might otherwise agree with his analysis having not heard the term socialism or he's simply trying to hide his politics because the lifestyle he's been living ever since entering the united states the engine of the capitalist world has been nothing but lavish luxury and fame <laughs> I'm just living the billionaire lifestyle. Hassan Piker has a history of hypocrisy, and his latest scandal is no exception, where he likened Twitch streaming to the hardest job in the world? 
Wow. We'll touch on that in a little bit. As mentioned earlier, Hassan Piker, an outspoken, peace-loving anti-fascist, the ultimate oxymoron, had some choice words to say about 9-11 to a decorated war veteran. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave soldier, f***ed his eye hole with their in 2021, Hassan Piker bought a mansion in West Hollywood for $300 million. And as we all know, socialism is a poverty cult. So whoever is closest to poverty while also participating in activism is the person who is doing the most socialism. Not very humble of you, Hassan Piker. Yes? I'm being told the home was actually $2.7 million and not $300 million. And although that's a pretty standard price for a home in Los Angeles, if Hassan Piker really wanted to participate in socialism, he would go live on Skid Row. Cause that's socialism in action. In December of 2021, Hassan Piker, while sitting in the comfort of his own mansion, used one of the most disgusting racial slurs known to man. One that digs deep into the hearts of many. And I am no exception. You dumb crap. I think we're gonna have to bleep that. Language like that will not be tolerated here on North Star Radio. This is a family-friendly broadcast. In early 2022, Hassan Piker purchased a $200,000 Porsche. Now, as we all know, the Venn diagram of socialists and folks on the spectrum is damn near a circle. And what do these two groups have in common? They both love trains, but more broadly, public transportation. Hassan Piker, a socialist, would rather drive a gas guzzler then participate in the proletariat pastime of being chauffeured around by a 60-foot limousine. And the best part is, when you get to your destination of the red light district, the bus just leaves and you don't have to worry about parking it. Checkmate, socialist. Something happened the other day on the Hasanami broadcast, which is ultimately the reason for me making this video. Hassan Piker reportedly likened Twitch streaming to the hardest job in the world. Are you kidding me? What is with this guy? Remember when he wore that shirt that said, tax the rich? This guy is the rich. Why isn't he advocating for the taxation of himself? If you're mad at me, tax me more, okay? Tax people in my income bracket more. The dangers of technology, folks. That was the most obvious AI video if I've ever seen one. And I haven't. All right, here we have it. Here is the number one Twitch streamer in viewership and paid memberships admitting to the world that he thinks his job is the hardest in the world compared to all other occupations. Twitch streaming is the hardest, most difficult, most dangerous job in the world. There we have it, folks. Hassan Piker is not a real socialist. The system that he preaches day in and day out that he cannot even follow. We actually have a full clip of the incident as it took place. Here it is. Yes, a real job can be gruesome, a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same way way as someone who did a sales job a real job i'm telling you as someone who did did both nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios after nine hours of that i could probably do physical labor it would not bother me but i can't do more social sh that's my point there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons service sector people pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it dave are you kidding me we did this whole story based on a false clip i put pants on for nothing